So before we talk about reentrant tachycardias, let's review normal cardiac conduction. When the sinus node fires, it sends a wave of depolarization cell by cell through both atria. However, it doesn't depolarize the ventricles because the tissue that separates the atria and the ventricles is non-conductive. When the impulse reaches the AV node, it's paused, and it's then sent through the bundle of Hiss in the Purkinje fibers, which cause the ventricles to contract very quickly, and then the impulse is terminated. However, some people have what's called an accessory pathway. An accessory pathway is conductive tissue that links the atria and the ventricles, and it can be located anywhere between the two. It's not always conducting, but when it is, it can send impulses directly from the atria to the ventricles or directly from the ventricles to the atria, which can create what's called a circus reentry tachycardia. There are two types of circus reentry tachycardia, but for today we're just going to talk about AVERT. AVERT stands for atrioventricular reentry tachycardia, and it's the second most common type of supraventricular tachycardia. There's two types of AVERT. Orthodromic, meaning that the impulse travels in the same direction as normal conduction. And antidromic, which means it travels in the opposite direction of normal conduction. For orthodromic avert, it uses the bundle of Hiss in the Purkinje fibers, causing the ventricle to contract. However, instead of the impulse terminating, it's transmitted up the accessory pathway, where it begins retrograde depolarization, cell by cell, of the atria. When the impulse hits the AV node, the cycle starts all over again. Because of the fact that orthodromic aberrant uses the bundle of Hiss in the Purkinje fibers, it's a narrow complex tachycardia, and because of how regular it is, it's often confused with sinus tachycardia. In antidromic aberrant, the impulse goes from the atria across the accessory pathway where it begins cell-by-cell -cell depolarization of the ventricles. The impulse then goes up the bundle of Hiss to the AV node, where it begins a cell-by-cell -cell depolarization of the atria. When the impulse reaches the accessory pathway, the cycle begins again. Because of the fact that it's a cell-by-cell -cell depolarization through the ventricles, it's a wide complex tachycardia and is often confused for VTAC. If you're interested in learning more about AVERT or about accessory pathways, feel free to check out the links below.